Let's speak now to Mohamed Wakid. He is a founding member of the National Front for Justice and Democracy. It was formed in March of last year in the aftermath of the revolution that deposed Hosni Mubarak. They say they represent the interests of people who do not belong to a political organization. Their mission is to keep alive the goals of the revolution. These include a transition to democracy, tackling corruption and social justice for all Egyptians. Mohamed Wakid, your group, your party was one of the first to call for the boycott of these elections. Apparently a call that hasn't been largely heeded if we are to believe what the Electoral Commission has been saying, which is that the turnout has been higher than it was in the first round. Do you still feel this is the best approach given the way the electoral process has unfolded? Well, I don't really trust the, uh, the, the, the statements that are made now. Uh, they usually inflate the turnout and then when you calculate at the end they concur that it was a lot le less than the, what they declared at the beginning. So our, our, uh, initial, uh, our initial observation is that it's a lot less than before. Not not much less, but it's much. It's a bit less than before, and this is what we've. This is the type of reports that we're getting throughout uh, the country and from different uh, uh, political organizations. So uh, I'd wait till the end. And mind you, a lot of the people who are going to vote are going to mark both candidates to spoil the the vote in order that it will not be forged in favor of another candidate. So. It's still very, very early to, uh, to uh, conclude anything about the boycott campaign. Well, what kind of uh, president do you think will Egyptians be electing? After all, there isn't a constitution in place that clearly defines the next president's power, powers. There's no new constitution. So if the old constitution still stands, will Egyptians then have elected a president with the same powers that the former president, Hosni Mubarak, who so many people fought so hard to oust, had so this not looking at these sort of um, divisions between whether or not the candidate will be religious or secular uh, military backed or not what kind of president will Egypt have well uh, to start with I mean I mean we're not ele really electing a president because we don't have the, the office the, the mandate of the office itself has not been determined yet so we are electing a, a person who carries the title president and we don't really know exactly what his job will be and we also don't know the extent of his powers, given that the, the, the parliament has been dissolved and that uh, there's, a, there's a bit of a mess here because there is nothing to check. There are no checks on the new uh, or the upcoming president. At the same time, no clear uh, stipulation of his uh, job or mandate. So uh, this is a very peculiar situation. Uh, the type of president that we would have elected had we had, we had a constitution would definitely not be uh, somebody that doesn't have a job yet. So to start with, definitely it wouldn't be like Mubarak before, and definitely it wouldn't be this, this message situation that we have now. So, so the role of the president not defined, the role of the Supreme Council for the Armed Forces also not clearly defined. If the military's choice, though, Ahmed Shafiq does win, will there be an explosion of anger in the streets of Cairo? It's unclear what the military wants. It's, I mean, there are, there are several analyses in the, in the uh, political arena, and one of them is that they really, it's not that they want uh, actually Morsi to win, because if they bring Shafiq, they will not be able to pull the constitution that they want. Basically, the, 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 the advent of Shafiq would mean the following. Everybody will group again. Everybody will be uh, collectively uh, trying to uh, oppose their constitutional propositions to oppose their constitutional assembly, which they will choose now, given that the parliament is not around. So what they will be doing is creating, a, a, a solidifying a, a, an opposition uh, block against whatever uh, whatever changes they want to, to introduce. So, But if Morsi comes with no power, no mandate, it will be a lot more easier to, uh, to actually uh, uh, to, to actually implement the, the changes that they want. Mohamed so Wakid, the, the idea, I'm yes. sorry for interrupting you, but we'll have to leave it there. Mohamed Wakid from the National Front for Justice and Democracy. Thanks very much.